Good morning from Paris, France. Shut up, you're being so loud. <laughs> <laughs> this is day, it's day three for us, but day two for you and I, and <laughs> and the last time you saw me was last night while we were drinking wine on the scene, and it's after we ate at Gentle Gourmet. So we just finished at Gentle Gourmet, and it was honestly, like, it was good, but it was also kind of underwhelming. Wouldn't you say, Sean? Yeah. And now we're on the scene, having we're some... On the scene. We're on the scene. Of the <laughs> having some wine and walking down it. Enjoying the lovely evening. Because in Southern California, this is not how bright it is at 9 o'clock at night. No. So it's very enjoyable and relaxing. There are also not those many people out. Yeah, look, I show you. And now, this morning, we are going to, Keith, what is it called? Paul? Paul Black Mall Cop. <laughs> We're going to um, a vintage, or more so antique market in Montmartre in Paris. And uh, if you need it be referenced, uh, Midnight in Paris, the Owen Wilson's character goes here, where he meets that really cute girl who he buys the record from. So, let me check in it out, and I'll show you guys what we find. The market doesn't open yet, so we're just hanging out with some dogs at a cafe. Hi guys, this is Gaston, and this is, what's your name? Dennis. Dennis, hey Gaston. Here, right next to the market. My baby, my baby. market you know with my California accent and I'm even gonna try and make a French one <laughs> and it was really cool there was a, a lot of very nice vendors I think they were genuinely nice not just necessarily wanting us to buy their things and yeah now we're walking back to the apartment to reset and, and do more stuff today we're gonna be going to museums and etc no I said we're going to museums <laughs> So I found some jewelry that I liked, um, but I wasn't gonna spend 30 or $20 on earrings. It's not my price point. And I found a ring that I liked for $10 or Euro. And it was the one that's, it, I think it's gonna break in a couple of years anyway, so I'm not gonna waste my money. I like if you get a couple of years out of something, it's not wasting it. True. Well, are we walking back to it? I don't know. Yeah. And they have really nice bathrooms here, so there's that too. <laughs> there were more watch vendors. Was like, there's like a lot of furniture vendors, for sure. <gasps> Hi, Guinness! Oh. <laughs> oh! It's like I gotta get out of here. Hi, Papinis. We're friends still. We were just excited to see you. We missed you. I forgot to mention that this is the largest flea market in the world, so we didn't even get to see all of it because we got places to go, but that's pretty cool. You want to spend an entire morning or afternoon looking at furniture, etc. Then you can come here. It's approved! We're preparing our lunch. Getting baguettes. waiting in line apparently. So we're going to a couple museums and we're just gonna eat lunch on the go, getting a baguette and some 
actually, well, they're getting cheese and um, I have some grapes and yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah, it is sweet. time. We got From the local market, freaking delicious. So we're staying in Montmartre and we just went down Rue de Martyrs. They just have so many different markets. They have um, pasta and cheese and bread and a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables. It's good, good stuff. Oh, a Parisian cooking. New Ferris wheel. Blocking the views. Casual sights in Paris, you know. Ooh, I could hear. So we're going to the Orge, Orge, Orangey. More 8 bit trees. We're going to look at some art. Oh, here. This is where we're going. You can see it's spelt out right here. See? Tokyo, Paris. I'm intrigued. I know, Keith got so far with that girl in the audio guy. You did really well with that. She's like, do you speak French? I can <laughs> understand a little bit. Well, because you, you did that with uh, your uh, Rosetta Stone, right? Yeah. yeah. So we just finished at the Museum des Angeries. Ooh, I did a good job that time. I said it wrong. Oh. <laughs> L'Angerie, it's not de. Oh. It's d'Orsay and L'Angerie. And I liked it a lot. It was probably my favorite museum we've ever been to. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Did you have like a hitch in a skin? <laughs> it had that. Gold medal. Has the... oh, yay! There was a Paris marathon today. We were cheering on people while we crossed the scene. Paris marathon. Get it! But yeah, it was a really great museum. It's probably my fave, like of all the. We've been to a lot of museums, and I think that was my fave. Checking them out across the board. Now where are we off to, Keith? That thing. And now we're off to that thing. The sign says it. Where? Right there. Very popular. The Orsay, right there. Keith's favorite museum. Yeah. Me. That's me. But yeah, it has the Monet lilies um, painting and is really breathtaking. Really has an effect on you when you walk into that room and see all of it. It's very calming, which is what he was going for. And apparently it wasn't well received initially, but now it's obviously gained fame. But when he first did it, no one could care. <laughs> hey, Sean. <laughs> so yeah, museum number two. what happens when you buy your tickets ahead. No lie. Keith is such a good planner. So we went in on the side entrance over here and you can just buy your ticket right there. You don't have to buy ahead or wait in line. Little, little travel tip right there via this guy. Always keep your eye out for ways to make your traveling easier so you can do more with less time.
There you go. There you go. Now you can see it. Look up. I forgot to mention that we did the audio guide at the Orge, and we're doing the audio guide at the Orsay, and uh, I recommend it. Five euros. It makes it a little bit of a better, it makes it a better experience, like hands down, because the captions are all in French, so you really don't have more information without the audio guide, unless you know French. Christina. Papa Dale. Yeah, I was looking through my... There's the sorry team. This is my favorite piece of art. I remember. Forever. So cute. I'm going to do audio guide for it. So I'll tell you guys about it after I hear. Some of the opera is here. Inside your mind. Thank you, Sean. No? <laughs> <laughs> what? Is the polar pair have an interesting story? Yeah, he did. He had a very interesting story. Okay. <laughs> the polar bear would walk backwards for pompon to show off. <laughs> Note to self and to you, Care for markets are closed on Sunday. So we finished at the museums and we wanted to get some snacks to hold us off until dinner, but two locations we went to are closed, so I'm assuming all of them are closed. And trying to find something to eat and dying from walking a million miles. But we're on our way to see Napoleon's tomb in Invalids. <laughs> so bad at speaking French. And going to do that real quick and then going to find some solid food after that. So here we go. Not applesauce. Not applesauce, according to Sean. Eating a cliff bar to hold us off. <laughs> Rather large building. Keith informs us that his tomb was here first and then they made the building. Mm -hmm. nope. You wanted to be buried here. Oh, building first, death second. <laughs> what did you just say, Sean? said that's a really big coffin for a really little dude. <laughs> you shouldn't have looked. <laughs> it's so hard to tell like how large that is though. Just from that, you know? Yeah, true. Go down there. Just peeps. Yeah. Oh. It feels so good. It's very cold in here if you need some air conditioning in Paris make this a stop. You blog people probably don't know, but I run really, really warm and this is really, really nice. <laughs> Just grab the pole. <laughs> Just grab the pole. So this is some perspective on how big it is. Walking by in Veles and such a beautiful park. You have to document. I'd rather be right there in the park. So we are finishing this up. Um, I don't know exactly what we're doing right now, but uh, this place also is the uh, army uh, museum. My brain isn't working and no one has interest in that. And then, well, these flowers are really pretty. I can see them behind me. People are taking pictures with people in front of it. Oh, the Eiffel Tower's right there. How lovely. But yeah, then we are going to go get food 
and I'll show you when we get there. And P.S. The Care For markets are probably all open. It is the Care For Expresses that we were going to, so. We saw someone with a Care For bag, so they probably went shopping. And the Eiffel Tower's right here. So we ordered an Uber and we will be getting a ride to our next destination, but we're gonna hang out in this park until then. The other meat, the barbecue. Yes. Sure, that's perfect. So um, for the sides, potatoes? Potatoes, all. Everybody? Oh, I didn't really speak for you. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> and um, just soft drinks? Is it extra for the beer? It's one of your extra for the beer. I'll pay that extra euro. Yeah, yeah. extra euro. Beer. beer. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a long day. <laughs> to be back at Hank Burger. I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> it's been so long, world. So long. <laughs> we went here once, um, once before, but then they also had a location on the scene when we were in Paris in <laughs> June. Oh, is that us already? Yeah. So Hank Burger was freaking amazing as usual. Uh, Sean and I have been wanting to pierce our noses together throughout this entire trip. So we're gonna try and make it happen right now. The shop is gonna close soon, so we're hustling and we'll see how it goes. It's time. So they were closed, or closing in 10 minutes, so they didn't wanna help us, but we just walked past another piercing place, so. We're going to do it. We were going to go to American Body Art. They're closed in 10 minutes too. We found it! And it's like the cutest of the three anyway. Three times a charm on our noses. Right here and right here. So happy. <laughs> so I got it like a little bit lower than normal because I'm gonna be wearing a hoop in it, but that's in like three months. So got like just silver, which it's it's okay. I wish they had more options than this, but he said that it was one of like. Fortunately, we went to one of the like main piercing shops in Paris. That's what he was saying. He's been piercing for nine years. It's very easy. It's like getting my ears pierced, so. It was my first piercing. Yeah, it was Sean's first piercing. It was easy, it was simple, it's done. Now we finally have our nose piercings. Yay! <laughs> Here we go. Steep hills. <laughs> You guys filming him? Yeah. I just well, I was about to film myself, but I was like... Oh no, someone just lost their food. Very impressive. Dude, I can't even hold a handstand for a second. So we're at Sac La Cour now. Watching the sunset. It's almost gone. It's getting there. It's probably pretty much set. 
we got some beers and soccer course right there and just chilling watching the people watching that guy do a handstand and do soccer shirts over and over and over again having a good time Keith? yeah just chilling Last night in Paris. Again. <laughs> Last night. Alright guys. Well, those were two days in Paris. We're gonna head to London tomorrow. Um, and I'll vlog then as well. But thanks for joining us in Paris. And we'll see you next time. <laughs> I hate closing out vlogs. Okay, bye guys. See you later. <laughs>